question for Keo. Um, Keo, what was the tech stack that was enough? I mean, I think decision on tech stack also can become a rabbit hole where, you know, we need this and we need that. And, you know, this is not enough. And now we also want to understand the calls and the quality of calls and the signals, etc. And yeah. so on, which you felt was enough to give you the information that you needed to complete this analysis and um, the ones that you foresee would be needed as an evolution from this one. Going through every single piece from the beginning, their tech stack just did not talk to each other. I mean, dental services, they have 63 different locations. Uh, a third of the appointments are booked online using an online booking tool uh, platform. Uh, the rest of it's booked via phone. Right. And some people call a main call center to book their appointment. Some people call the clinics and all of that data is being captured in different places and in different ways. It's not it wasn't a common system. So it's kind of all over the place on that. Uh, ortho and I, to, to really get into the weeds of, uh, of dental care, both ortho services, you know, braces, Invisalign, things like that. All of those services were in one platform. Right. And then things like hygiene or emergency dental, that that's in a different platform at their company. So again, and, and those the, the customer ID is not common between those two platforms. Right. So that becomes messy. So it's like it, one of the, the hardest challenges with them is, again, how do you put all this data together to answer any questions? Right. Um, if Madonna had come to me over a year ago and said, hey, let's do this exercise, I'd be like, I, I wouldn't even know what data to give you to, to do this exercise the right way. So. The starting point was pretty simple. It, the, the systems just didn't talk to each other, and we couldn't we couldn't fig figure things out. Um, we have since cleaned uh, a lot of that up. We have created, you know, in the background, some unique customer ID experiences using email address and phone number, so we can get some commonalities between appointment book data, appointment completed data. Start to tie some of those things um, together, and then we have brought on a new agency that uh, specializes in the dental space that has APIs into all the major dental software, and then also has APIs into the Google platform, into the Meta platform. Because they've done that, they can do custom work on platforms like Mountain, and they can start to connect the dots between all these pieces. So we can say, I spend these dollars this week, over the next three weeks, how many appointments were booked because of those clicked and how many appointments are completed because of those clicked. Now, that still doesn't answer the question of incrementality. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, someone might have booked an appointment, whether or not they saw a meta ad or a search ad, uh, but it helps us get much closer to a sense of truth and, and give us some data and information to make decisions versus um, versus where where they were a year ago, for sure. Right. Makes so much sense. And these are all the problems which are so typical in one form or the other across all organizations. That's you know, um, one of the hardest pieces to solve when it comes to data integrity. Yeah, yeah, it's it's the database work and getting it all cleaned up. That's that's the hard part. Pushing the button that runs the 100 models from Madan, that's the easy part from Madan. <laughs> but the hard part is getting the data all cleaned up. <laughs> I can attest that in most cases that is 100%.